the next um, Bible study I was going to touch on since I was going to go in order from Genesis, but I think I'm going to end up skipping around, but Exodus is after Genesis. That's the story of what happens to the Israelites, Jacob's family, Joseph's family, after they settled in Egypt during that famine, that Joseph being second in command to Pharaoh was saving all the food for those seven good years for the seven lean years. So that his family ended up coming to live in Egypt in the land of Cush, which was a very fertile area for their livestock because Egyptians did not regard people who kept livestock in high esteem, but they regarded Joseph in high esteem. So anyway, like 400 years passed, they're used to living there. And then the Bible says, then a Pharaoh who did not know Joseph made the Israelites into slaves for building his projects because they were afraid of being overtaken by the Israelites. They had recently been warring with a group called, and I may not pronounce this right, Hyskos or something. They may have been like a Greekish type people, seafaring people. As far as the particular pharaoh, there's many theories. Some say he was the son of Ramses I. Others say it was, there's like three or four. Mehnetep, Ahimetep, something tap. Doesn't really matter which name, I guess. But that he didn't know. Joseph is what it says. So I'm like, well, how did he not know? I mean, these people keep records, especially Egyptians. You know, because, I mean, we find all those... Um, mummies, scrolls, all that stuff. So I looked into it further, and what it meant was that he had no respect for what Joseph did. That was a long time ago, and he didn't care. He was worried about his government, his kingdom, himself, getting overtaken by the Israelite people who were growing and growing in number, hence him coming harsh down on them, making their lives miserable to where it'd be impossible for them to decide to overthrow him. So that's where that came in. Now, of course, most everybody knows the story of Moses, um, you know, when all this persecution was going on that Pharaoh decided to have all the male babies killed and had the Hebrew midwives do it, but they they respected and feared God and life, and they were not doing it. So they made up a story like, well, these Hebrew women aren't like uh, Egyptian women. They give birth on the birthing stool before we even get there. So he started having his soldiers throw the babies into the Nile for alligator food. But Moses' mama, she hid him away nursed him, and then when it became too hard to hide him, she made a basket, waterproofed it with tar or whatever, put him in it. Well, had his sister put him down the river, but put him in a spot where somebody would see him. And shortly, Pharaoh's daughter did, and she took him to raise and ended up hiring Moses' mom as the nurse, the wet nurse, because obviously she had did not have a baby, so she couldn't nurse anyway. And he grew up in Pharaoh's court. And then the part of the story, of course, where he grows up, he sees the Egyptian abusing the Israelites, which you know are his people, so he kills the Egyptian, then covers it up, I guess buries them in the sand or whatever. Next day, he sees his Israelite brothers, relatives, fighting amongst themselves, and he tells them, hey, what, you're, you're kin, why are you doing that? Why are you fighting? And he's like, well, who are you? They're like, who are you to tell us when... You just killed an Egyptian yesterday. So he's like, oh gosh. If they know, then everybody knows. So he runs away to Midian and ends up marrying into a family there. And then it leads to that story about the burning bush, which we'll do later. Have a great morning.